Okay, y'all, so this wig here is by Wow Ebony. This is my second review on this wig, so I'll definitely leave the first one down below. But I decided to put a few layers in it, cut it more so shoulder length, and add some highlights, or I guess you say some color highlights, low lights. It's all up in there. So let's see how I got it done. So this is the wig. This is pretty much how it was um after I finished customizing the first time. So I just put the wig on and this is before I washed it. I was trying to get a good look at it and go ahead and add my layers. And this is how the curls were looking. They were pretty tight. Again, it is a kinky curl pattern. So here I'm just going ahead and cutting in some layers. Trying to get it more like shoulder length. More like a bob or I cut it more so into like a lob. So it was more longer on one side and short on the other. So I'm just taking small pieces and just cutting it, getting it how I want it. So that's all I'm doing right here. And this wig is really nice. Their custom service is really nice. But it was real cute like this black before I added the colors. But I decided to add some color for Valentine's Day. So here's the bleach I'm using. Um... And I think I use like a 40 volume developer. So here I'm just putting it on my ends. I don't know. I had like this vision in my head. And yes, it was burning my nose. So I'm just putting it on my ends. And then I'm like taking some pieces and dragging it from um, the top to the bottom on the whole strand. So that I can get it more like um, highlights in there. So I wanted like different strands to give highlights as well as like my ends to be blonde like the tips. But it just seemed like I ended up coloring the whole front. <laughs> so this is what it ended up looking like after I washed it. And the curls were still popping. So that's how you know this is some good hair when you bleach it and those curls still be popping. This is the part I was talking about so it can swoop behind my ear because it was so much hair. I had to section behind a section and cut it so that it wasn't too much hair and it would be able to swoop and stay behind my ear. So... That's what I'm doing here. That's how much I cut off so that I can get it to swoop behind my ear and stay there. And yeah, just cut a little bit more. And then see now it's able to swoop easily. And I did um, use my hot comb to get the front really flat. I did that in layers. So here I'm just sectioning off my hair from the back to the front so that I can define my curls. So I start off with the water bottle. And then I just take a pick and comb through it. And then I take this mixture that I put in this bottle, which is some grapeseed oil, some water, and some got-to-be glue gel. When I use the got-to-be glue by itself, it just makes my curls really, really hard and really, really crunchy. So I decided to add some water and some um, oil to it to kind of soften it up and it worked so good and that's my dimming brush and as you can see it's like really defining the curls where you can like see the curls clump together so that was really good so i think that's how i'm gonna start doing my curly hair i don't know but it worked really really well on this curly hair because you know curly hair acts different just like everybody's natural hair acts different so you guys try it let me know if it works out for you and then i just take my diffuser and blow dry my curls and that's pretty much how i did my entire hair <music> 